Welcome back to our channel, Immortal News. Today we are here to remember and honor the irreplaceable talents in the entertainment world whom we've sadly lost recently, including those who departed on July 13th. In the second half of this video, we have heartfelt tributes to these unforgettable individuals, so we invite you to stay with us throughout. Before we begin this journey of remembrance, we would be deeply grateful if you could gently tap the like button. This small yet significant gesture helps us enormously in continuing to share these poignant tributes with all of you. Daniel Goldberg, a luminary of comedy and cult classics in Hollywood. Number 16, Daniel Goldberg, prolific film producer and writer, best known for his pivotal role in shaping the iconic The Hangover trilogy and his collaboration with comedy legend Bill Murray, passed away at the age of 74 on July 12th in Los Angeles. Goldberg's remarkable career spanned several decades, and his unique creative touch left an indelible imprint on Hollywood comedy. Goldberg began his illustrious career co-writing the 1979 summer camp comedy Meatballs, featuring Murray, setting the tone for a series of successful collaborations that would include the 1981 military comedy stripes. His knack for encapsulating comedy's essence led him to a prosperous producing career from the middle 90s onwards. Over the years, Goldberg worked on a multitude of iconic features, from the animated heavy metal to the comedy old school. However, it was the Hangover series that brought Goldberg colossal success and global recognition. The Vegas set comedy and its two sequels grossed over a billion dollars worldwide, testament to Goldberg's keen understanding of audience tastes and comedic timing. Despite his large-scale success, Goldberg never lost his knack for intimate storytelling, as evidenced by his Emmy-nominated work on HBO's Telepic The Late Shift. Goldberg is survived by his wife, Ilona Hertzberg, his sisters Kathy Hogg and Amy Goldberg, and his brother Harris Goldberg. His immense contribution to the film industry has immortalized him in the annals of Hollywood. Tributes to Daniel Goldberg Number 15. Dakota Fred Hurt, a distinguished legacy in gold prospecting and reality TV. Dakota Fred Hurt, a prominent figure in gold prospecting, notable for his starring roles in the Discovery Channel reality series Gold Rush and its numerous spin-offs, passed away on July 11, 2023. His death at the age of 80 was the result of brain cancer. Known for his first appearance on Gold Rush, in its 2010 inaugural season, Hurt gained notoriety as an antagonist, acquiring another prospector's claim in Porcupine Creek, Alaska. He later clarified that the supposed hostile takeover was in fact a peaceful sale, highlighting the dramatization for reality TV. Hurt was an integral part of Gold Rush for four seasons, culminating in his venture into Alaska's Cahoon Creek in the fourth season. After departing the series, Hurt, along with his crew, aimed to launch All That Glitters. However, in a change of direction, Hurt and his son Dustin began starring in Gold Rush Whitewater in 2018. Here, the crew shifted their prospecting focus to Hainesboro, Alaska, investigating the area's whitewater creeks and waterfalls. Hurt remained an active participant in the show until his passing, with the most recent season wrapping up just a month before his death. He also made appearances on Gold Rush South America and Gold Rush, The Legend of Porcupine Creek. Before his celebrated career as a prospector, Hurt worked in construction and commercial diving. In memory of Hurt, his family has requested donations to the Mike Rowe Works Foundation, furthering his legacy beyond his personal achievements. Tributes to Dakota, Fred Hurt. Number 14, George Armstrong, an enduring star and a stalwart of British television. George Armstrong, renowned British actor, beloved for his roles in iconic television shows like Grange Hill and The Bill, 
passed away at the age of 60 on July 11th, following a long battle with leukemia. His death prompted an outpouring of grief and affection from fans and colleagues alike, signifying the significant impact of his performances on British television culture. Armstrong first graced the screen in 1977 in Just William, but it was his portrayal of Alan Humphreys in BBC's Grange Hill between 1978 and 1982 that propelled him to prominence. His performance as the character was so compelling that he reprised the role in 1983 for the spin-off series Tucker's Luck. Armstrong's contribution to British TV dramas was further solidified with his portrayal of P.C. Driscoll in The Bill in 1989, his final acting role. Post his acting career, Armstrong channeled his love for the performing arts into technical theater management at a public school. His transition from on-screen roles to behind-the-scenes work showcased his unwavering dedication to the arts. Armstrong's enduring legacy in British television is testament to his talent, versatility, and his unwavering passion for his craft. Tributes to George Armstrong. Number 13, Manny Cotto, a creative mastermind with a prolific legacy in television. Manny Cotto, renowned for his significant contributions as a screenwriter, director, and producer on genre-defining shows like American Horror Story, Star Trek Enterprise, 24, and Dexter, passed away in Pasadena, California, on July 9, 2023. Cotto succumbed to pancreatic cancer at the age of 62, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of television. Cotto's early infatuation with cinema, especially with Star Trek, began in his birthplace of Havana, Cuba. He made Super 8 MM movies in his youth, foreshadowing a prosperous career in storytelling. After working on commercials and graduating from the American Film Institute, Cotto embarked on his professional journey, modestly starting by writing and directing an episode of Tales from the Crypt, the 1980s reboot of Alfred Hitchcock Presents, and co-writing an episode of The Modern The Outer Limits. His significant breakthrough arrived in 2003 when he joined Star Trek Enterprise during its third season. Kodo's contributions, including the well-received episodes Chosen Realm and Azati Prime, breathed fresh life into the series. By the fourth season, he ascended to the role of executive producer, alongside creators Rick Berman and Brannon Braga. His storytelling prowess was highly praised, making the job a dream come true for this lifelong Trekkie. After Star Trek Enterprise, Kodo's career soared further, with him becoming a writer and executive producer for the final four seasons of 24. He later wrote and produced Dexter for three seasons, and contributed numerous scripts for the American Horror Story and American Horror Stories anthologies. He only began to slow down after his diagnosis with pancreatic cancer in 2022. Over his illustrious career, Kodo earned two Emmy nominations winning one for 24, and received four Writers Guild of America Award nominations, highlighting his immense talent and impact on television. Tributes to Manny Cotto Number 12. C.R. Roberts a trailblazing force on the gridiron and a champion of racial equality. Cornelius R. Roberts, more famously known as C.R. Roberts, an iconic American football player who championed racial equality during segregation in Texas, passed away on July 12th in suburban Norwalk, California, aged 87. The cause of his passing is reported as natural. Roberts marked his name in history when he led the University of Southern California to victory against Texas in a 1956 game. His remarkable performance setting a single-game rushing record with 251 yards stood for 20 years and became an emblem of resilience against racial discrimination. A native of Mississippi who moved to California during his grade school years, Roberts faced significant adversity upon his arrival at USC due to the predominantly white student body. Despite this, his resolve never wavered. After graduating from USC with a degree in business administration, 
He was drafted by the New York Giants in 1958, but ultimately chose to sign with the Toronto Argonauts of the Canadian Football League. He later joined the San Francisco 49ers, where he played from 1959 to 1962. Roberts is remembered not just as a football icon, but also as a figure of resilience and determination who broke down racial barriers in his sport. His legacy will continue to inspire many generations to come. Tributes to C.R. Roberts. Number 11, Michaela Jones, a maverick surfer who captured the soul of the ocean. Michaela Jones, a professional surfer celebrated not only for his athletic prowess, but also for his remarkable ability to capture the beauty of the ocean through his photography and videos, died on July 12, 2023. He was 44. His tragic passing occurred during a surfing trip in the Mentawai Islands off the western coast of Sumatra, Indonesia, when the fin of his surfboard severed an artery in his leg. Born and raised on the east side of Oahu, Hawaii, Jones grew up surrounded by the magnificence of the Pacific Ocean. He made a home in Indonesia with his wife, Emma Brereton, and their two daughters, Isabella and Violet. As a surfer, he was known for his adventurous spirit and his dedication to the pursuit of the perfect wave. He traveled the globe from Papua New Guinea to Panama, Sri Lanka to the Azores tirelessly chasing the best swells. Jones was not just an extraordinary surfer, but also a gifted photographer, famed for his point-of-view footage from inside the barrel of waves. He was considered one of the pioneers of this technique, providing fans with a unique perspective on the surfing experience. His shots, often taken at the riskiest moments of a ride, demonstrated his unyielding commitment to his craft. Beyond his athletic feats and artistic contributions, Jones was an emblematic figure of the free surfer generation. These individuals meticulously research and chase the world's best waves, capturing stunning images of their pursuits. Jones was regarded as one of the finest in this field, translating his love for the ocean into a legacy of incredible photographs and videos. The tragic event that led to his untimely death occurred while Jones was waiting patiently for an eight-foot wave. As it closed out, he fell, and his board's fin cut his femoral artery. Despite the quick response from fellow surfers and resort owner Amar Abalera, Jones could not be saved. His last Instagram post, a video of him standing on a surfboard with the walls of a wave folding around him, was fittingly captioned, Time to Live. Beyond his family, he stated, Surfing was all I need. Tributes to Michaela Jones. Number 10. Ryuchel, a fearless advocate for LGBTQ plus expression and a beloved figure in Japanese pop culture. Ryuchel, Japanese TV personality, celebrated for their influential contribution to LGBTQ plus representation and their unmistakable genderless fashion, has tragically passed away at the age of 27 on July 12th. The exact cause of Ryuchel's death, found at their agency's office in Tokyo, is still being investigated by the police. Rachel emerged as an influential figure in Japan's LGBTQ plus community and popular culture. Their decision to publicly express their gender nonconformity, despite the social challenges, paved the way for countless others to embrace their authentic selves. Rachel married model Peko in 2016 and they shared a son. Their relationship took a new turn in August 2022 when Ryuchel announced they no longer identified as male, leading to a wave of online criticism. Despite this, they committed to co-parenting their son with Peko, who publicly supported Ryuchel's journey of self-discovery. Known for their vibrant, genderless style, Ryuchel became a beacon of hope for many in the face of adversity. Their courage and resilience in the face of online harassment campaigns won the hearts of many, and their loss has prompted a wave of sorrow and reflection across Japan. Ryuchul and character assassination trended on Twitter as fans mourned their passing and contemplated the culture of online bullying. 
Ryuchel's legacy as an unapologetic advocate for the LGBTQ plus community and a unique icon in the entertainment industry will live on, inspiring countless individuals to live authentically. Tributes to Ryuchel. Number 9. Mel Wakabayashi – A Remarkable Journey from Internment Camps to Ice Hockey Stardom Mel Wakabayashi, a Canadian-Japanese ice hockey player and coach, passed away on July 9 at the age of 80. Born in a Japanese-Canadian internment camp during World War II, Wakabayashi was a testament to resilience and determination. From playing junior hockey and baseball in Chatham, Ontario, he rose to become a key player for the 1964 NCAA champion Michigan Wolverines hockey team, where he was also named Player of the Year in the Western Collegiate Hockey Association in 1966. Wakabayashi's legacy further extended beyond North America as he spent 11 seasons playing in the Japan Ice Hockey League and coached the Japan men's national ice hockey team at various international competitions, including the 1980 Winter Olympics. Following his sports career, he served as the president of Cebu, Canada. Recognized as one of the top 50 players in the 50-year history of the WCHA in 2001 and inducted into the University of Michigan Athletic Hall of Honor in 2006, Wakabayashi's story remains an inspiring journey of overcoming obstacles and achieving great success in the face of adversity. Tributes to Mel Wakabayashi Number 8. Eric Bitter, a visionary race car driver and pioneering automotive entrepreneur. Eric Bitter, a highly respected professional race car driver and innovative automotive entrepreneur, sadly passed away on July 12th, just shy of his 90th birthday. Bitter's passion for automobiles was evident from a young age. His successful racing career spanned 11 years from 1958 to 1969, during which he drove iconic sports cars including Porsches, Ferraris, and Mercedes 300 SLs, ultimately earning the fastest lap in his class, driving the Taxi, also known as Schwarze Witwe, or the Black Widow for Opel. Post-retirement from racing, Bitter leveraged his business acumen to become a German importer of Abarth products and ventured into the world of car manufacturing. Despite initial challenges, his determination led to the establishment of Bitter GmbH, a car business based in his hometown of Schwelm, which produced several unique and admired vehicles based on proven Opel platforms between 1973 and 1986. His innovative journey continued, and he presented the stylish Bitter CD2 Coupe at the 2003 Geneva Motor Show and revealed the Bitter Vero in 2007. Opel's admiration for his interior design for the Vero led to a collaborative by Bitter line of models, further solidifying his legacy in the industry. Eric Bitter's legacy as a pioneering figure in the automotive world, both as a racer and as an entrepreneur, will remain an inspiration. His creative spirit marked by various prototypes and models like the Bitter GT1 and Bitter Tasco, will forever encapsulate his life's work and passion. Tributes to Eric Bitter Number 7. Mercedes López de Luzuriaga, a late bloomer, a lifelong impact in Spanish television. Mercedes. López de Luzuriaga, a veteran Spanish actress renowned for her roles in several popular TV shows, passed away at the age of 95 on July 12. Her passing was confirmed by Polvora Films, the producers of her last movie, Camera Café, released in 2022. Despite a late start in her acting career, López de Luzuriaga made a significant impact on the small screen. Debuting in 2005 in an episode of Aquí no Hey Quien Viva, she quickly became an audience favorite. However, it was her portrayal of Asun Sempere, the intern in Camera Café, that solidified her status as a beloved figure in Spanish television. Her contribution to the spin-off of the show and her role in Fibrilando were equally noteworthy. Beyond these prominent roles, 
she continued to enrich Spanish TV with her appearances in series like Cuentame Como Paso, Que Vida Más Triste, La Que Sea Vecina, Hospital Central, and Aida. Through her unique talent and enduring charisma, Lopez de Luzuriaga has left a profound legacy that will continue to inspire. Tributes to Mercedes Lopez de Luzuriaga. Number 6. Ernst Ludwig Petrowski, a trailblazer of jazz in the German Democratic Republic. Ernst Ludwig Petrowski, often affectionately known as Luton Petrowski, has left an indelible imprint on the jazz scene. The self-taught saxophonist, clarinetist, flutist, composer, and author passed away in Berlin on July 10th at the age of 89. His influence has shaped the German free jazz landscape for decades, making him one of its revered forefathers. From the middle of 1950s, Petrowski performed in numerous ensembles, establishing himself as a foundational member of the Manfred Ludwig Sextet, a significant group for GDR jazz. His participation in the 1968 Montreux Jazz Festival and his founding of the jazz rock band SOK in 1971 cemented his influence. His 1983 collaborative concerts with singer Ushi Bruning brought him additional renown. His performances with a wide variety of bands, from the George Gruntz Concert Jazz Band to the Globe Unity Orchestra, demonstrated his versatile and boundary-pushing talent. His involvement in the New Old Luton Trio from 2006 to 2016, as well as the New Old Luton Quintet, further testified to his dedication to jazz innovation. In honor of his 80th birthday, Jazz Fest Berlin celebrated Petrowski's illustrious career with a jubilee evening featuring his key groups. The legacy of Ernst Ludwig Petrowski, his improvisations, compositions, and influence will forever resonate in the world of jazz. Tributes to Ernst Ludwig Petrowski. Number five, bus accident in Illinois. Community comes together in support. A bus traveling between Chicago and St. Louis experienced an unfortunate accident on July 12th on Interstate 55 near Litchfield, Illinois, according to state police. Authorities are investigating the cause of the accident. The bus driver, along with several passengers, experienced injuries. The specific details about injuries are currently undisclosed to respect the privacy of those involved. The weather was clear and dry at the time of the incident. In the aftermath of the accident, Local hospitals and emergency services immediately responded, offering care and support for all the passengers. The ages of the passengers ranged from 2 to 82 years old, and everyone has been provided with the necessary assistance. A spokeswoman for the bus company, Crystal Booker, expressed their commitment to the well-being of the passengers and their families. We are working closely with the authorities. Our primary concern is for those involved and their families. We are doing everything we can to support them at this challenging time. The National Transportation Safety Board said it was dispatching a team of investigators to assess the circumstances surrounding the accident. The incident has led to an outpouring of community support and solidarity, highlighting the resilience and collective strength in such times of adversity. It serves as a sobering reminder of the importance of safety on the roads. Now it's time to remember the legends who passed away in the past years. Number 4. Alain Besançon, an intellectual giant in the fight against totalitarianism. Alain Besançon, an eminent historian and profound scholar renowned for his works on communism and Russian history, passed away on July 9th at the age of 91. Besançon's intellectual journey was as diverse as it was impactful, delving into fields like art history and Christianity apart from his main focus on communism. Besançon's magisterial inquiry, The Intellectual Origins of Leninism, is still held as a seminal work on the ideology and its seductive appeal. A regular participant in Raymond Aron's seminars, Besançon carried forward Aron's intellectual legacy against totalitarianism, 
making substantial contributions to understanding the phenomenon. His engagement with the liberal thought, post his departure from the Communist Party, though not always welcomed in certain intellectual circles, brought an essential perspective to debates of his time. In the later years of his career, Besançon turned his scholarly focus towards Christianity, analyzing its relationship with liberal democracy and Islam. A believer in the intellectual rigors of theology, he was concerned about the Church succumbing to humanitarian religion. An autonomous thinker and an immense scholar, Besançon's influence transcended French borders, leaving an indelible mark on historical and philosophical studies. He was elected to the Academy of Moral and Political Sciences in 1996, a testament to his widespread acclaim. His legacy as a truth-seeking historian and a stalwart friend will forever be remembered. Tributes to Alain Besançon. Number 3. Grant Imahara, the electronics wizard and co-host of Mythbusters Grant Imahara. Celebrated for his role as a co-host on the pop science show Mythbusters and his behind-the-scenes work in Hollywood films, passed away on July 13, 2020, at the age of 49, due to a brain aneurysm. Imahara's love for electronics led him to earn an electrical engineering degree from the University of Southern California in 1993. Imahara's early career was marked by his work as an animatronics engineer and model maker for Industrial Light and Magic, the famed movie special effects company founded by George Lucas. His remarkable skills were showcased through operating the iconic R2-D2 in the Star Wars prequels and in his work on Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, The Lost World, Jurassic Park, and The Matrix sequels. Imahara's innovation also extended to the design of a custom circuit for the Energizer Bunny's arms and ears. From 2005 to 2014, Imahara brought his expertise to Mythbusters, where he was part of the build team, helping to confirm or debunk various myths and urban legends. After Mythbusters, he co-hosted the Netflix show White Rabbit Project, exploring history's greatest inventions and heists. At the time of his death, Imahara was working as a Disney consultant and a mechanical designer for Spectral Motion, a company specializing in animatronics and prosthetic makeup effects. His passion for innovation, exploration, and discovery will be remembered and celebrated. Tributes to Grant Imahara. Number 2. Shirley Fry Irvin A remarkable legacy in tennis and an inspirational figure. Shirley Fry Irvin, a trailblazing tennis player who dominated the sport during the pre-open era, passed away at 94 on July 13, 2021, in Naples, Florida. Her passing was announced by the International Tennis Hall of Fame, to which she was inducted in 1970. Irvin secured singles titles in all four Grand Slam tournaments during her career. The French in 1951, Wimbledon and the U.S. titles in 1956, and the Australian in 1957. This impressive achievement places her among only ten women to have accomplished the feat. Irvin was known for her speed and concentration on the court. Although she modestly downplayed her abilities, she was acknowledged as a tennis idol by the legendary Billie Jean King. Irvin also had a successful doubles career winning 12 championships at the four Grand Slam tournaments. She then retired from tennis to raise a family. In her later years, she remained active by teaching tennis and playing senior tournaments. Irvin is survived by her four children and 12 grandchildren. Her resilience and passion for the sport were a testament to her character and have left an indelible mark on the world of tennis. Tributes to Shirley Fry Irvin. Number 1. Charlie Robinson, a remarkable legacy in television and stage. 
Charlie Robinson, a veteran actor celebrated for his portrayal of the pragmatic court clerk Mac in the long-running NBC sitcom Night Court, passed away on July 13, 2021, at the age of 75. The cause of his demise, as confirmed by his family, was a heart attack and organ failure brought on by septic shock, in conjunction with adenocarcinoma, a type of glandular cell cancer. His death occurred at the Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center in Los Angeles. Robinson's acting career, spanning six decades, encapsulated roles in television, film, and on stage. His first credited on-screen role was in 1971, in Jack Nicholson's directorial debut, Drive, he said. However, his iconic performance as Macintosh Robinson, or Mac, in Night Court, from 1984 to 1992, cemented his position as a fan favorite. Born in Houston on November 9, 1945, Robinson served in the Army and briefly attended the University of Houston before pursuing his passion for acting. He trained at esteemed institutions such as the Actors Studio, the Mark Taper Forum, and the Inner City Cultural Center in Los Angeles. Robinson's impressive resume extends to numerous TV shows like The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, This Is Us, Grey's Anatomy, and NCIS. He also had a recurring role on the CBS sitcom Mom. A highlight of his illustrious career was his 2006 win of the Ovation Award for Best Actor in a Play for his compelling performance as Troy Maxson in a production of August Wilson's Fences at the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. Robinson is survived by his wife, Dolorita Noonan Robinson, his mother, his children Luca, Charlie, Christian, and Byron, his brother Virgil Carl Robinson, and several grandchildren and great-grandchildren. His profound impact on the world of acting, along with his affable charm and skill on stage, TV, and film, has left an indelible mark on the industry. Tributes to Charlie Robinson We kindly ask you to honor the lives of these remarkable individuals by showing your support and appreciation. Please like this video and continue watching as we pay respect to the legacies they've left behind.